Broad Bean Search Within Bullhorn is your one-stop shop for all of your active search resources. It allows you to search across multiple CV databases, including the Talent Search database, Bullhorn database and commercial job boards that we're signed up to. Broad Bean Search is designed to be a useful and time-saving resource. To access Broad Bean Search, you simply head to the Bullhorn menu, click on Marketplace and then Broad Bean Search. Before we go into too much detail of how we search for candidates on Broadbean, let's take a quick look at what you can see on your screen so you've got an understanding of the functionality. This area at the top left hand side in green will show you how many results have been found. If you've never performed a search before, it will just give you the total number of candidates that you have access to on our databases. The below section will allow you to clear any previous search criteria, allow you to save your searches and create any watchdogs. The area at the top of the screen is for you to write in your search criteria in Boolean format. You can then also give a location and a radius for that search. Below is the list of job boards where you can choose to receive your search from, and the specific job boards that you have access to are managed by Mission Control. This area to the left will allow you to add additional search criteria that's supported by the channel that you've selected. Then here at the top, are the bulk functionality to add candidates to hot lists, shortlist them against jobs, preview them and add them to long lists. Right, now you have an understanding of the different functionality and the layout of Broadbean, we can start using it to find our candidates. To start your search, enter the criteria at the top. Your keywords need to be in Boolean format. You then can insert a location for the search and the radius of which you'd like that search to take place in. If you leave it blank, it will do a global search. Within this section as well, you can also break down the job type or desired salary for more nuanced results. The next section on the screen then allows you to select the job board or key social channels that you would like to search from. On the left hand side, you can then use the additional search criteria to filter your results. Please note that the criteria will change depending on which job board you've selected to reflect the search criteria that's supported by them. Let's take a quick moment to look at the different options you'll have to search from. Talent Search allows you to search for candidates in your Broadbean talent pool. Broadhorn allows you to search the Broadhorn database. LinkedIn searches public LinkedIn profiles. Flickr is great for designing creative candidates. GitHub is good for developers. Uh, and About Me is a generalist profile search. Once you've run your search, you'll see all of those listed below. You'll notice along the bottom of each candidate record, there are a set of action options. As you hover over each of the icons, it will provide you with a description. This one will allow you to download the CV. You can forward your CV to an email address associated with one of your colleagues. You can save a CV directly to Talent Search. You can shortlist a candidate against an advert. You can also add candidates to tear sheets or hot lists, and it will allow you to message a candidate with or without a link to your advert. But do note that this feature may charge for a download to obtain the email address from the messaging facility. Messaging candidates on talent search, however, is free. You can also preview information about this candidate without having to download the CV attachment. But again, costs may vary depending on the job boards that you're using. You can also long list an individual candidate. All actions above, except preview and long list, will also save the CV to the Bullhorn database. Every action button will automatically turn green after its use. It will also populate an activity record in the candidate snippet, which can be viewed by anyone in the company. This is great for preventing duplication and for sharing information. At the top of the results, what you'll see are five action buttons but there are three that are very important for you to have a detailed understanding of. The first is the shortlisting a candidate to an advert which has been posted. When you select the shortlist icon, a pop-up box will appear. To shortlist someone to an advert that's been posted to Broadbean, just select the advert from the drop-down list and click Submit. Once you've clicked the Submit button, You'll see a confirmation that the candidates have been shortlisted successfully, and then you can just click go back. Tear sheets, or hot lists as they're called. Now this allows you to 
put a candidate against an existing hot list in your Bullhorn account. When you select the tear sheet icon, a pop-up box like this will appear. To associate someone with that, you just select the tear sheet from the drop-down list and press submit. You can also forward multiple candidates at once to anybody that you would like. To save your searches, you simply click on the Save option on the left-hand side. Once you've clicked the Save button, your search will appear on the top right-hand corner of your screen. The number beside the Save Searches indicates how many searches that you have saved. To access your Save Search, simply click on the blue link to generate it again, or delete it, just click on the bin icon. If you have a search which is pulling back the types of candidates that you're after, then you can switch on a watchdog to automatically rerun this search once every morning and send the new results to your email. To create a watchdog, simply click on Create Watchdog on the left-hand side. You'll see a new window appear containing your original search criteria, which you can also amend at this stage. Once you've completed the chosen criteria, click Create a Watchdog button and then your saved watchdog will be stored in the top right corner of your screen. To delete your watchdog, simply click on the bin icon. A quick visual to see how many new watchdog results have been found will be indicated by the green icon. And if you want to access your watchdog results, simply click on the name of the watchdog to rerun them.